So have you ever considered that today is the best day of your life? What's dominating your thinking today? Are you awake and aware at, at the divine clues given to you at every moment of your day? You've heard the saying, this is the first day of the rest of your life. Well, why can't it be the best day of the rest of your life? Most of us are unconsciously waiting for the next shoe to drop or some inconvenience in our day to show up. We've created all kinds of crazy false beliefs about what life is all about. So I'm suggesting that we change the way we believe our day is going to unfold. How about seeing yourself as a divine outlet for God, His, the ideas and the, being the joyous co-creator in this life that we're leading. See the good in people rather than the not so good or expecting the worst in people. Practice happiness rather than grumpiness. Doesn't that feel better just to think about? I kind of look at it as a way of getting from a frown to a smile and thinking of what you say to small children, all of us, turn your frown upside down. That's what we want to do to make this the best day. Feel your inner child so that you can practice being lighthearted and playful. I think my inner child must be very sad when I keep it trapped in upset, irritation, and unhappiness. Once freed, I imagine my inner child taking a big gulp of air and beginning to laugh, maybe even giggle in delight. When you wake up each day, say thank you for the gift of another day. Smile at the clerk in the store who seems to be having a bad day, or even if they aren't having a bad day, smile at them. When driving, let that person who seems to be in a big hurry merge in front of you. Throw road rage out the window. Smile at people you pass on the sidewalk. It will lighten their day and yours. Talk about being a beneficial presence in the world in these very small ways. And it'll also make you a happier person. Your inner child now is doing cartwheels of joy at your newfound way of being. More and more often I'm caught by surprise by the ways God, the universe, whatever we want to call it, answers my unconscious prayers. I need to resolve something and just the person I need to fix the issue appears. I'm thinking about someone I haven't heard from in a while. They call. Some would say it's just a coincidence. I say it's a God incidence. I learned that term from a friend in Pennsylvania where we were living many years ago. And it once I learned about that term, that's when I began paying close attention to how often that happens in my life. God shows up all the time in our lives, but in the hustle and bustle of our lives, we're often not aware enough to recognize it. So think of today as the day you begin to see greater demonstrations than you have ever known, as you trust in the divine mind's ability to respond. Believe prosperity, healing, or whatever it might be is yours because you're letting divine mind produce it for you, through you. Don't allow yesterday's mistakes to flow over to today. Don't let those past false or negative beliefs hold you in bondage. This is a brand new day. Start fresh, free, and happy. Remember, today is not only the first day of the rest of your life, but it is the best day of the rest of your life. Feel the uplift in your spirit as you think this thought from Ernest Holmes. 
This 24 hours is my opportunity to prove that every moment the mind of God leads me into my good. And now let's affirm together. I let mind be in me what it has planned to be, and my success is sure. I see only good today. So let's say it again. I let mind be in me what it has planned to be, and my success is sure. I see only good today. And so it is. With deep, deep appreciation for all of the good that there is in this universe and beyond, knowing that God is all there is, whatever I choose to call it, that power that is greater in me and as me than I can even imagine. Knowing that God is the source, the all, everything that exists is God. Remembering that and taking that within myself and knowing that I am connected to that one mind, that universal mind that is always giving everything that we need, everything that we ask for, and all we need is to be receptive, to be open, to open our minds to that divine power working in and through us. So I know right now, this is the best day of my life and the lives of each person who hears this message and far beyond that, because this is the best day. This is the day that God has given me to show up in my absolute perfection. And I know that is happening right now. And so I know the best is yet to be in this day. And I'm thankful for it. I'm thankful for each person who shows up today, who shows me the way to kindness, compassion, and love. I'm thankful to have those souls that touch my soul and allow me to see God in everyone who I encounter. Thank you, thank you, God. Thank you, God, for the truth of this prayer that God is all there is and that that perfect state of being is available to me because I have that conduit to God, to that universal mind. So I take a deep breath now and let it out. And I let this prayer go into that beautiful alchemy of love and law. Knowing that the law is always responding yes to what I believe. And I believe this is the best day of my life. And so it is. <laughs>